Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Uh, happy to bring you a, kind of an acoustic blues classic rock tune. I love this progression. It's uh, got a lot of nice like little movements going on, uh, so we really enjoy that. Okay, so there's I kind of break this down into two different parts that just cycle through, two parts. Um, let's go over the chords first. The first chord is C major. Then we're going to play E7. And so the middle finger goes up to the second fret of the A string. Index finger goes to the first fret of the G. We're actually, uh, you know, there's going to be a little picking pattern. So we're not even going to play the low E there on the E7 because we're getting this little, like, movement on the A string. So you got C, E7, A minor. And then the next chord is called A minor over G. Happens a lot in a lot of our favorite classic rock songs. Uh, in this instance, because of the way we're going to be picking it, take my ring finger off and move, while I'm still holding this shape, I'm taking my ring finger and going to the third fret of the E string. Oh, and actually, you could call that a C over G. My, my, uh, my bad there. But C and A minor, they're almost identical. So it's like a C chord, but with the G note in there. So we got C, E7, A minor, then the ring finger goes to that G note right there. Then we're going to play an F chord. However you know F, that's how you should play it. Um, for this song, I'm going to be playing it this way, with the ring finger on the uh, third fret of the A, pinky on the third fret of the D, middle finger on the second of the G, and then index on the first of the B. I mean, you can throw your thumb around, but it's basically that, then up a whole step to G or you could play a regular G. But if you already have the shape, you can move it up. So that's a G, or that's a G. So check it out, we got C, E7, A minor, over G, F, G. So that F to G is quicker, it's twice as fast movement as the other chords. So C, E7, A minor, ring finger comes off to that G note, F, G, F, C, G. So there's this little tag, F, C, G. So I'm, you know, I've got the F, then I got the G, then I just move it back down. So the shape for three chords is the same shape. I move it back down here, and I still got it, Da, 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 da. So F, 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 C, and all you got to do for that move is pinky comes off, middle finger moves up from the shape. Oops, let's see, where am I? Oh, yeah. Say and play that. So check it out one more time. Here we go. C, E7, A minor, then over G, and F, G, F, C, G. Next time through, same thing. C to E7, A minor, then over a G note, then F. Into the chorus modulation, and so what we can do there is we're going to play an A major chord, A, down, 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 up, 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 and you got A.
with that rhythm, so you got A, then we go to what's called A major seven. Middle finger moves up to where your index was on that second fret of the D. But index then goes to the first of the G. So you got A major, A major seven, finger comes off and now you have an A seven. And then a D, E, A, A major seven, A seven, do that little tag to bring it back. F, C, G. And then it just cycles that whole thing. But with the little picking thing, it's basically just like A, D, G, D. Next chord, same thing. Next chord, same thing. Next chord, same thing, except instead of the A, now it's the E string because of that. E, D, G, D. Strum the whole thing too. Now the chorus. So good luck with that, and there's more coming. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed yourself. A lot more stuff at guitarjams.com, that site right down there. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you in another one of these uh, YouTube lessons real soon. Take care.